Welcome back to Mapperton, everybody. And today, looking around, you can probably tell that we are in a different room. Yes, we are in the library here at Mapperton. Living in a historic house like Mapperton has definitely invigorated my interest in British history and of course my interest in historic houses. It was so wonderful to visit Cern Abbas in Dorset recently, where history is literally carved into the earth. The Cern Abbas giant, as it's known, has been on the hillside for centuries, and then nestled in the valley below is the beautiful historic house, Cern Abbey, a Benedictine monastery founded in, get this, 987. And it has been the home to the Fulford Dobson family for the past 50 years. During that time, Michael, Barbara, and their family have taken on the preservation of this 1,000-year-old historic house and made it into the most beautiful, welcoming, and wonderful family home. Sitting by the fire, I was really keen to hear about what it's like living alongside this 1,000-year-old history. I just would like to know a little bit more of the history. Of course, Foundations 987. There was probably something here before that, but the foundation of the Benedictine Abbey was in 987. Right. And then it uh, went on until the dissolution in 1539. So the dissolution happened, but the guest house is, is what has remained, is that correct? The guest house and the abbot's porch. And the abbot's porch, that's and right. this building that we're in. Yes, explain to me this building that yes. I'm in right now, beautiful. Yes, yes. Well, it was, the, it was the south gate house. Right. It was the main entrance in, into the abbey, and I, I'll take you in the drawing room. Uh, and I'll show you the hinges where the doors were and okay. all that sort of thing. You see, there's the, Yes. That's <gasps> this was the main gate into the abbey. This was the main and, gate. And so the gate was hung on those pintles. I see, I see. Mm. I'll have a little closer look here. Oh my goodness. So this, what would you say this bit dates back to I then? think almost 987. Almost 987. I would think so, yes. Over a thousand years right yeah. here. Yeah. Incredible. And it's lovely that it's a main feature of this room. Absolutely. So you have sort of the, the thousand year old history here and then combined with what you and Barbara have and done, to, done to, to create yes. a home. That's right. It's beautifully working together. Oh, thank you, what a treat. This fireplace was put here by one of the abbots who was abbot in about 1509. Absolutely beautiful. Well, there, there, there is a thought that in the early part of the life of the abbey that this might have been the abbot's quarters. <coughs> Okay. Before it expanded. Right. And the, the extraordinary thing about the abbey here is that the abbey building has vanished. Right. Most places where there were abbeys, they're the remains of an abbey. Uh, and there are great works going on at the moment, people doing digs and one thing or another, to try and find out where the foundations were for the original abbey building. We think it was out in Beaver Field out here. Okay. But we don't know. Are archeological digs happening now or is that it, the it, hope? Or? It's, a, it's about to happen. Uh, there's a system where they can put soundings into the ground and yes. see where walls were and that sort of thing. Um, and they've done quite a lot of that around the abbot's port. That so, is yeah. absolutely brilliant. The two of you, so you've, stumbled upon Cern Abbey. And I would just like to hear the story, now that we, we understand, obviously, the, the roots of it, the dissolution, what is left standing, but how did the two of you come arrive here? here? Arrive here? Well, I can, <laughs> I can, I can, <laughs> I can tell you that. We, we lived five miles away. And um, I heard 
that Lord Digby, who was the owner of this at that yeah. stage, uh, was selling. I had a conversation with him about the, the Abbey. And anyway, he's, he agreed that he would sell it to us. So uh, we bought it uh, and that was in 19... 57. No, oh, oh, the conversation though, you bought in 1978-79. 79, well, you're quite right, yeah. yes, 79. But, I, but the conversation yeah. yes, around. Yes, you're earlier. quite right, yes yeah. it was. So we actually bought a house without a roof. <laughs> and just before we signed the contract to buy it, the north roof fell off. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And Eddie Digby rang me up and said, what builders are you going to use? And I said, well, do I need any builders? He said, well, the roof has just fallen <laughs> off. What was it about Cern Abbey that, you, that drew you to not just this beautiful home, but knowing that there would be a lot of work that yeah. would be involved in it? Yes. I think it's because I liked the house in particular. Um, we quite like living in a biggish house rather than a small one. And uh, I think that when it came on the market, it seemed too good an opportunity to miss. Yes. And so we went for it, um, accepting that, of course, there would be a lot of work involved. You know, a house of this age, uh, you yes. expect problems, as I'm sure you get at purpose. But we quite like doing <coughs> it. But you took on this project, the two of you together. Oh, that... we've always loved things like that. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, oh, yes. yes. I think we enjoyed doing it. You can't just do something that everybody mm. else does. You've got to get out and, you know, make a thing. No. She loves a challenge. Yes. And love a challenge. And do you feel, you know, I think for me, obviously coming from Mapperton, where it is a constant project, I think projects are in one aspect, very, very healthy mm. because they keep the mind going, Absolutely. they keep you busy. Yes. 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 <laughs> so, and did, yeah. you, did you feel that, but was there ever a time in the, you know, these sort of uh, 50 years that you've been here that you felt, oh gosh, what have I done? Why did I take on such a labor of love? Or has the, no. the short answer to that is not at all at yes. any stage. And I would say never. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Yeah. It's incredible. No, we love the house. That was the thing that we really were t together, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. Barbara, I would love to just hear from you, you know, coming in here as a young mother, but also an artist. I look around all of these walls here, and I know many of this, and I know throughout dotted around the house, this is, you know, these are your pictures. This is your art. I'm going to speak for my mother because I know she gets quite shy. Yeah. So, Mum, do you want me to, to tell a little bit? Because I yes. know you'll be like, because she's so self-effacing. Yes. A, a lot of her interiors, I suddenly realise, as you've just said, the rooms you're sitting in here, because she didn't arrive and had a whole collection that you can't move, like a museum, she arrived with walls that were empty. Right. And, fascinating. You know, your 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 mother's uh, family has was had a direct hit in, during the war, so a lot of their possessions were either blown up or you're just going down a different line. So mum was a big collector, the two of them together, and so these rooms are a bit like her paintings. And I've never fully appreciated that when I go and I think that the atmosphere when you open the curtains, every detail you're looking at is being put in by my mother. Right. And so they loved it together, but their combination. Dad's loved all the restoration, but Mum loves all her team that come and work here. And you're, what, some of your happiest days are out with Terry, all the different people who are helping, realising your vision. Because this has been lots of visions that she's... You know, with turned. two people, you don't want everybody to be doing the same thing, so it's much better for Mum doing it. Yes, that's exactly yes. right. I, 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 I absolutely understand that. And also, you know, you're not English, I'm not English, <laughs> yeah, but we married Englishmen. <laughs> so we have to somehow mix it up a bit Absolutely. and, and um, have a bit of fun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, here we are, 56 years of marriage that you're witnessing here. Incredible. And touch was still going Almost strong. Still. Still going strong. Still sure. going strong. And what a beautiful home that you've created and mm. raised your family in. And 
um, but continue to do the work. I mean, what's extraordinary is arriving here and seeing Jessica and, you know, you say, well, so we've got works going on here. I mean, it reminds me of Mapperton. <laughs> You're never alone. It's never very quiet. Yeah. And these are craftsmen. You know, you know this is painstakingly time-consuming to make sure that you are preserving this part of England's heritage and doing it the right way mm. and, and to make sure that generations yes, can then are. enjoy it yeah. um, further on. Yeah, so, yeah. No, it, it's quite something seeing it. As you say, people go, oh, just slam a little window in there. But it's like, no, how it's all done with grade one listed is everything has to be as it was, which again does keep the craft alive, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. It keeps the craft alive. But I'm conscious of the fact that we're really just custodians. Absolutely. We are. That, that's yeah. our, our role. Yes. Over the past few years, Jessica has been spending more time at Cern Abbey. And so we decided to take a stroll in the garden where she talked to me about the huge responsibility she feels for the future. Fascinating, of course, seeing your parents. As I always oh, say, they are yeah. my favorite couple, um, apart from my in-laws. Okay, think, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> but, you know, I'm being right. here now and seeing all the work that's gone into preserving, you know, this beautiful historic house, do you feel that you also have this responsibility of taking on the reins, of course, you know, if and when that happens, and how does that, feel because I know going into Mapperton it's been quite daunting for me right because yes. it's it's a lovely home but it's also it's a big project yeah constantly yes yes it is I, I found that um, Covid for me was was the time that you know I was I was away doing my own thing and again the difference as a modern woman now when we have other things that we're doing there's that element of suddenly at a time in life which Covid brought of oh there's a responsibility here that I could either welcome or just say after this, we'll let it go. Right. And I've got two sisters, I'm the middle one, bit of the loose cannon, I call myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm middle too. Uh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> so I, I feel, um, I've always loved and appreciated living because my parents made us appreciate where we were living. Yes. It was never taken for granted. And we always worked hard with it. We were sent out to do the gardening. I was the best at the gardening, <laughs> even though the others. But I, what was interesting <laughs> with COVID, is I suddenly realised actually I did have the gardening in me and my mother, a lot of uh, women, uh, are very precious. I remember a friend of mine whose mother every year won every show for her carnations, her peonies, and no one would have been able to do anything in that garden. Whereas my mother, who's always been an amazing cook and amazing, I thought gardening, she said, darling, I don't like cooking and I don't really like gardening. <laughs> so she said, I'm delighted if you want to do both. And so for me, it was suddenly realising that with the clock in life turning a dial that I was now alongside my parents and thinking, yes, I feel I can hopefully see my mother juggle what she could as a woman. I thought, well, perhaps I can juggle still my life and this, certainly mm. for now, whilst touch with this going strong, but I'm helping with a lot of the projects that they don't want to worry about. Right. And I'm enjoying that and they're letting me embrace that. And so with the gardens, we're going along and see Terry in a minute. But with COVID, there was a big wall just over here that we were always, my parents were like, let's just let sleeping dogs lie. You know, Ivy, my mother's like, if you pull that, the whole lot will come down. And that's right. more, more, as I say, Bill, but dollar signs flying yes. up. Uh, but it was the time when dad said, do you think we'll tackle this wall now? And um, Because there was time. We there was time. 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 And then, and also you realise with Terry, a lot of these people with these crafts and skills to do it, they are not going to be around. No. So I'm like, we've got to make the most of it. Yes. So I'll show you that, you know, we had, it was like a carpet and my hands, no one told me how brutal gardening can be. I mean, I woke up like, oh my God. <laughs> Every morning during COVID. Yeah, because I, and I, someone said, well, perhaps use a hammer next time, but you know, you live and learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we started that, but since then, I have been taking on more and more. And I do relish the idea of trying to see how for the next generation we can preserve the tranquility of the place mm. and the authenticity. Yes. But it's that balance. Some people go very, very commercial. You have to because we've got to keep the tiles on the roof. Yes, yes, yes. But there are ways of trying to handle it so it's not ruining here. People have to walk in and they just, mum even leaves notes saying, 
this bench is waiting for you. Right, and, you know, right. But just so people feel no one's there, but they've just stumbled across somewhere. Yes, yes. It's a challenge I feel I'd love to take on, but we just have to see what we never know. Yes, exactly. But I'm up but, for but, it. But you're up for it. That's brilliant. And I feel balancing that, you know, why not? Yeah. Women can balance a fair bit. Yeah. Oh they? my gosh, we're the we we're the best balancing act. Yeah. My there, mother's there been is. a good example of it. So I thought, well, <laughs> let's try. Let's go and see Terry now. Okay. Great. So this is our Terry. Right. Uh, well, Julie. <laughs> Hi, Terry. So nice to meet you. Yeah. I, I so, actually call him Sir Terry of Cernalot because he's like a knight shining armour. <laughs> Since my parents came here, he's been mending the walls, which in these places, as you know, of course. go on forever. Yep. Of course, and just as, yeah. And when you finish, you're back where you started, which More Terry less, sort yeah. of is. It's like, it's like doing painting the fourth bridge. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. So now what's happening here, Terry? What are well, you doing? I'm, I'm going to have to try and replace this gate now because this door's. Hinges have broke off on the bottom, yep. and that one's come loose. So I'm going to have to try and rebed them back oh. in somewhere. Okay. Oh my uh, goodness. Prob probably with lead and with the good old stuff. Yeah, good yeah. old stuff. Yeah. The good old stuff. Because we like to cling on to the doors. My parents love the doors, and even yes. though it turns out that could as be you, a new bit, we like we just love seeing as you, the, the as botching. You, see, you had to reinforce the, it. They've been reinforced over the years. And yes, there comes yes, a point yes. where it's it's the old, it's marrying the old and the new, isn't it? Now Thank talking you. of which, we got our brand new COVID wall, as I call it. <laughs> Is it really called the COVID wall? Because this was completely covered in ivy, wasn't it, Terry? Yeah. There was a bulge here that looked a bit ominous, and we, my parents were like, oh dear. But it's a rather extraordinary wall. Can we just, because it's, it's to me, it's built differently than sort of the traditional walls that I see yeah. dotted it, all it, around it, England. Yeah, this is, a, this is a traditional stone and flint walling. It's one of those things that when you look at the, the actual main house, you can see that the fashion is using the local stone, which yes. is literally yeah. everywhere. Yes. Because when this was an archway, a Saxon archway, was this wall here when the leading up? It makes you think, why would it not be? Why would it not be? There used to be an archway, a gateway or something just here. Yeah, yeah. Because you, the modern stones were still in there. Yes, ah. And you see a join down the wall there. Yes, I see that join. That port wall was built before this one was. I see. Okay. Yes. So then this was an addition. And yeah. this was an addition, addition. to the, yeah. yeah. As you see, it is quite a long wall. And if you imagine when we were pulling the ivy off, my parents were like, we've left this for a while because we feel the whole lot could come down. Right, right, right. But it was actually in surprisingly good yeah, condition. It, it had roses in it. Apart from the top, what, two foot or more, the rest yeah. of the wall was not now, too bad. This is, now, what I'm seeing here, is this what you were pulling out during COVID? Yeah. Is this the remnants of yeah. the yeah. ivy? Yeah, yeah. And Look I tell you, this. I couldn't <gasps> move my hands. I didn't realize Look removing it. ivy would be so... I'm just helping you a little bit thank more you, here. Thank you, Julie. Thank Any you. Any time. Look at this. So I've got so a war on ivy. Not that we like walls, but if I see <laughs> ivy on a wall, I, I say to yeah, Terry, so I'm doing it for you. I will but this was, was it everywhere. That, that you was can't, you couldn't even see the wall. No, no. So it's literally had a complete, and now you see the beauty of it when you step back. Just I mean, it is. Because Terry, working with flint, they're not even like bricks. And you see, you have to use the artistry to make them fit yes, together. Yes, yes, No one is the same. They're like a snowflake, yeah. imagine Terry, aren't they? Every yeah. flint's it's different. It's fantastic. Will the ivy come back? Not on <laughs> my watch. <Okay. laughs> it will do if it's neglected. Terry, I, I found it interesting when you said to me, I can tell when one man takes over yeah, from another. You, you can. It's quite something, isn't right. it? Yeah. And how can you tell that? <laughs> I don't know, just instinct, I suppose. Um, you can generally tell right. by the mixture of the muck, by the way the stones are laid. Just, yes. It's not, I don't know. Yes, it's, no, I get it. It's those it, small details which yeah, you don't yeah, think yeah, about yeah, with a wall. No, but no, no. Think about in it. restoring, no. you're like, well, the other person was a bit tighter on that. And now yeah, this one's it, a bit it, looser. It, 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 Local yes, side of me. Exactly. It, it, it's just, just a kind of, yeah. I don't know, instinct. It's brilliant. instinct. Yeah, brilliant. And how long have you been here? 40 odd years. Uh, no, I don't think it's 40, about 35 years, I think. 30, 30, 30, 35 years. years I've been there. Oh my goodness. And do you love it? <laughs> yeah, good question. You do. You and Mum, it's just yeah. Yes. Me and your mum, yeah, we, yeah, they keep yeah, there. We, they we, love we, it. They we, do a lot we, of. We, he helps we, with the the restoring and visions that she has, and it's yeah. They do yeah, a lot of great yeah, stuff. Yeah.
And let's all agree here, that is a huge transformation. CERN Abbey is really the most magical place and it was so special for me to see Michael, Barbara and Jessica again. If you haven't done so already, do check out the other episode from my visit to CERN Abbey when Michael spoke to me about his lifetime of service to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Plus, I visited Barbara in her special studio. And I do hope you're enjoying our new playlist, American Viscountess at Home. Do check it out and let me know any special guests or themes that you'd like to see. Comment down below. I'll be back here very soon for a brand new Historic House episode. Bye everybody. I love making these Historic House programs. And if you love Historic Houses as much as I do, why not consider becoming an American Viscountess patron? Here is a community filled with other people who love historic houses as much as I do. And when you become a patron, you also get American Viscountess merchandise, Christmas cards, photos, extra content. Oh, and all these episodes, you get them early and they're ad free. All details down below, patreon.com forward slash American Viscountess. Hope to see you there.